We're back on Raid Shadow Legends on our free-to-play account, day two, and we're going to go over the top five tips to help you progress efficiently and quickly on your brand new account. The way that we're tackling this has made it just super easy. We are steamrolling through everything in the game. This is recording from earlier today. I have it at two times speed right now, so it's going through quickly. So let's go over the tips for this game. Firstly, they're going to ask you to level up a whole bunch of artifacts to plus 12. I don't remember how many times they asked me, but they asked me maybe 12 times to level up an artifact to plus 12. And by the time they ask you, you already have your main DPSer right here, my Gaelic, whoever is your starting champion or your really strong champion that you want to farm Minotaur and farm up all the experience for your other heroes with. He already had gear at plus 12. So I went to one stars, go to that one star trash gear and level it to 12. It costs nothing to do that. You're not going to use any of this other gear. You don't want to focus on three star and four star gear to plus 12 unless it's on your main DPS or like my Gaelic. Otherwise, it's a waste because we're going to open up the forge at level 30, which isn't far away at all. It's going to take you three or four days if you're slow playing to get to the forge. And then there, we're going to have some really good five-star gear. Plus, once we get up higher in campaign, we're going to farm better gear. Four and five-star campaign gear. And then we're going to get better gear out in the dungeons. So it's a big waste. But if you take a one-star, which I did, I think I had three champions at one time fully equipped with one-star gear up to eight or 12. Two of them up to 12 because, again, my Gaelic was already at 12 with most of his gear. And it'll tell you to do that with a whole bunch of them. And then at the end, it's going to tell you to have two heroes with a full set of plus 12 gear. And it could be a one star. It costs nothing. And then you just, I didn't even sell it. I didn't even try to take it off that hero and sell it back. I just ate that hero, fed it into somebody else. It's that easy. So make sure you don't get stuck with that because it'll take all your silver away and it'll waste all your time and resources and you don't want that. To recap on day one, you're going to take your starting champion, you're going to take them up to four star and then to five star. You're not going to level anything else up. If you pull something sweet like a royal guard, you're going to leave that royal guard at level one, four star. You're not going to mess with it. You're going to take everything else up that you're going to want to feed into your starter like my Gaelic and you're going to get Gaelic up to five star, which he is right now. So right when you take that first five star, all your other champions, you're going to start leveling them up to feed them into him. You're going to start making four stars. Those four stars will be five stars, but they don't need to be useless four stars that you're taking up. You need to make them important ones like add monitor that we have a shield set on that they give to us. Tip two is to use the shield set on either add monitor or commander and get that add monitor or commander up along with your main DPSer. My ad monitor is about to be level 40. He's got a shield set on. He blocks 5,000 damage. He's been blocking 5,000 damage on both of mine for quite a long time now. And you're going to look at the gear I have on him. It's trash. They give us shield sets, a six-piece shield set. And usually I would look at that six-piece shield set and be like, why are you giving me this? It doesn't make sense. But since I've done this so many times, you put that shield set, even if it's garbage like mine, where I have a chess piece with attack on it, the clip that was playing really quickly behind me, we just went in that video and downed the normal boss here with Vistophis. And then we went and beat this dragon because we didn't three star it the first time. And then we went all the way through here and three starred all of this and then beat more to Macabre with the level 30 something and the level 40 something. Very simple to do because we have a huge shield and then add monitor does ally protection of 50%. This goes back to making sure that whoever you level up to 40, that you're gonna take to five star and feed to your Gaelic, it's something that's gonna help you out. Something that you're actually gonna use and then it's gonna progress you in the game because you're not gonna eat these guys right away. It's gonna take a few days to get these up. So why not play someone who's gonna help you push? And this guy right here, being that he's force affinity in arena is a killer. He comes in arena, my Gaelic goes and does crazy damage. Then he comes over here and does 50% ally protection to my Gaelic. Plus he's force affinity. There's a whole bunch of magic affinity in arena. He's getting weak hit all the time and we're just winning matches. We should not be winning because of the shield set. Now, again, this shield set's terrible. There's no telling what you're going to roll on the gloves or the boots. But I just took what they gave me. It is a six-piece set. I've only leveled up this one to eight. 
I leveled these other two pieces that I found along the way because they're HP to eight as well. And we've already got over 5,000 HP shield on every one for three turns whenever we zone into each wave. It's insane. Please use this HP shield. Use it on Ad Monitor or use it on Commander, which Commander gives us an amazing heal. Her HP, max HP, is nowhere near his, but it's still high and she does heal. So when I'm going through all this content, all I do is ally protection. Whenever I feel like Gaelic's getting targeted, 50% of that damage goes to him, and then he brings in the mega shields. Everything is easy. We steamroll through all of it. I mentioned Royal Guard earlier. I was lucky enough to pull him earlier today during the two times ancient event. I had four shards to pull and I got Royal Guard. The other ones were <laughs> complete garbage, but you noticed I haven't touched him. Just like I said earlier, do not touch these guys until we get our farmer to six star. And the reason I said the supporting cast that we're going to feed into Gaelic later, which should be in the next following days. But right now I need to do damage on the guild boss to move up even higher on my missions and I need to get past Spider 4. There's a lot of things that I wanna do and I wanna accomplish it now. And to do that, you level up only these champions. Zephyr Sniper, which I wish I had one right now. Shield Guard, Commander, Ad Monitor, and then a couple of these Outlaw Monks. So my dream team to level up to level 40 before I feed them into Gaelic is gonna be two Outlaw Monks to help me out with Clan Boss because I didn't pick Kale. So I'm missing out on some damage. I've got Ad Monitor or Commander, either one, to help me get through all the content. If I would have pulled her first before him, I probably would have leveled her up first. The reason why he has Ascension is because later on in the game, the missions tell you to ascend someone three times. Well, I already had Gaelic done. So I went over here to a really low uncommon, which is very easy to ascend. I ascended him three times. Remember, whenever it tells you to do something, just do the lowest possible easiest way because you're gonna get rid of this anyways. I'm gonna feed Ad Monitor into Gaelic. I'm gonna feed the two outlaw monks that I make that I'm gonna get insane damage with on the clan boss to Gaelic. And if I wanna build them again, I build them again. I'm gonna pull them again, it's no big deal. But you don't wanna level up and waste resources on something like Royal Guard because you're gonna keep him. I'm gonna level him after I do Gaelic, of course, but not right now. We don't need him right now. We need this guy at 60 fully mastered, which remember, this is day two for me. We are 10 hours into day two. I'm about to get his full masteries. Okay, next tip is masteries. When you're going through and getting masteries for your very first hero, the way Minotaur works is if you roll a whole bunch of people into Minotaur, it's random who gets the scrolls. So you really wanna just take Gaelic in there and get scrolls for him first. And then once he's maxed out on scrolls, they'll go to whoever else we bring in. So I'm gonna get 800 gems soon and it takes 800 to unlock all the masteries or you could farm them i'm not going to farm them i'm going to take this 800 i'm going to unlock all his masteries probably on day two which means tonight and then anytime i take him in there they're going to go to the other person that's with me or the other team that's with me randomly to the other people but i'm going to take him in there at level 60 along with my royal guard if i want to and get royal guard some masteries because then he's full Masteries will then go to Royal Guard, but you do pick up this mastery. This is really the tip in masteries. This mastery is really good and it's easy to get. Now I do love this mastery as well because it's on a one turn cooldown. When you kill somebody, you get 10% of your HP, but it's too far away. This takes 80 and it's gonna be a while before you can actually get 80. So I always come over here in the beginning on all my accounts, this is every round. So first wave, second wave, boss wave, I'm always getting 10% of my max HP back as life. And it saved me so many times, along with the 5,000 HP shield ad monitor giving us the 50% ally protection. And then me getting back this life whenever somebody dies, each wave is enormous, especially since this guy is going to be your solo farmer. And then usually I come down here, I always get War Master because we have lifesteal gear on. That'll be for another video. But in the beginning, do this and then pay attention to your gems because we're going to fully do his masteries today now he's not six star so we can't do tier six but we can definitely get something like evil eye to knock down turn meter which is gigantic we can get more accuracy there's a lot of stuff we can play with and we have one free reset but we'll talk about that in another video let's talk about gear for starting out now you saw the gear i currently have on gaelic we just have the gear that they give us from the beginning we have it up to 12 but i have logged in for two days so i'm starting to get my lifesteal gear 
This is Speed Boots. With gear, you want Speed Boots on everyone, especially your damage dealers like this. Speed, because we can do two turns to their one. We can steal back all that damage done to us with Lifesteal set. We need a four piece, but we get it every day that we log in. And all the pieces of the Lifesteal gear are the same. Same substats, but you might not get lucky in rolling speed. Speed is everything in this game, guys. Everything. Speed Boots along with speed, you're going to do damage but you want to take those turns. You want to get back to your abilities and you want to take those turns over the enemy. So hopefully you'll get lucky enough to get speed substats. That's all I want. Speed boots, speed substats. So when you log in every day, just pray that you get, there's day two, that you get speed substats on your rolls. And whenever you look for any other gear as we're coming up right now, speed substat. When I start farming brutal campaign and I'm looking for the five star gear to drop, even if it's a green piece with just one substat if there's a speed substat there i'm taking it i'm leveling that up because the main stat is good if it's like if i need hp percentage that's fantastic and then if it has a speed substat then i can maybe roll into accuracy if i need accuracy that's what you want though you want that speed you want to go first and you want to go as many times as possible where's our login progression new player rewards here it is so everybody's going to get this set and you're going to use four of these pieces Get those speed boots up and then pray that you hit speed in whatever whatever drops here. It's really important. Once your guy's fast like that, like my Kale was on my last account, you blow everything up. I believe we covered all five. Let's look back at my notes. So you're going to level up that one star gear whenever it asks you to level up gear, especially when it tells you to level gear to plus 12 because you're only focusing on the gear on your main DPSer. You're going to use a shield set on somebody that has high HP, and I've told you the ones that I would use. And I am a firm believer in those five or six that I talked about. I would not level up anybody else. This right here, Commander, is by far an amazing champion to level that we feed into Gaelic. Add monitors, amazing with that ally protection of 50%. If we had two hit here, we could go to a two turn cooldown, but he's got a whole bunch of abilities here that make it not fun at all. Then we've got our couple outlaw monks that we're going to use on the clan boss. And we've got a shield guard or Zephyr Sniper. I prefer Zephyr Sniper because she does AoE on her A1. And she has a regen that we could use as well. And then I would have leveled her up instead of add monitor. Maybe. I'm really enjoying him though. This guy has made it super easy for me to steamroll through everything and three star it all. One star gear, shield set, these exact heroes to level up and feed it into your main farmer because you're going to use these along the way to do spider and to do arena and to get all the other missions done number four is lifesteal set and your substat rolls in speed boots and then number five was going over the masteries and what we're going to do with the masteries and getting that one mastery that i feel like is one of the best things to get coming up to help you out anything to get life back is just amazing on a fast dpser like that that's all five, everyone. Let's take a look at my account really quick and see where I'm at. So we are 10 hours into day two. We are just destroying Arena. When we go in there, I've got a separate video coming out tonight on Arena. We are, we are destroying it. I'm going to bring up those monks to do the damage I need to on the mission. Look how far I am on these missions. I'm up to 68. That's pretty damn far, but I cannot do this 500,000 at all. Not right now, not with the guys I have. I'm really far behind on that. But maybe tomorrow we'll be able to do that. It won't take long as long as I can get up some poisons. I think I'm going to be okay. Plus we have extra keys, four keys a day, right? So maybe I'll be able to do it really soon. We're about to have masteries. Once I get his masteries unlocked and get him the six star, he's going to start doing war master procs on the boss too. It's going to help us out. We have some shards to open, but I'm kind of holding off. I'll open them when I need to. I don't feel like I need anything right now, to be honest with you. It would be cool to pull a really fun rare. And especially once I get a sacred shard soon, I'll open up that sacred because I don't want a legendary. We're not going to use any pulled legendaries on this account. Just like Hell Hades, what he's doing right now on his free to play, we're only going to use legendaries that we can get for free in the game. Rods and Scarhide, Sil Scylla the Drakes, Vizix. We can go get um, Drekstar Blood Twin. Only those, Arbiter but nothing that we get from our summons. We're not going to use any of those. And I don't think I'm ever going to go after any fusions. We'll see, you know, in six months from now, I'm probably going to be like, Hey, let's go after some fusions. It'd be fun to do my great hall. I've got one mastery in there. And of course it's always accuracy on the main person that I'm using right now. Plus there's a godly amount of magic affinity heroes. And if I pull something like frozen Banshee or a kale, 
yeah, we're going to want this accuracy. Accuracy is so important because we don't have an accuracy lead right now. Unfortunately, we didn't get to start when Simple was out there, the sharpshooter to get his accuracy lead. And we are on campaign and just like like going through campaign here. I'm on, here's normal, right? Three starred, everything on normal. I'm sorry, except for this boss, which we might be able to do right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. But the first time I came through here and three starred everything earlier this morning, so easy. And then we went on to hard and like hard is I'm three starring all of this. It's, it's, it's easy, man. It's easy. If you do it with the shield set and you have an ad monitor to do that, he's got a weird name, right? To do that ally protection, it's cake. It, it is such a cake walk. And you're going to see when I use that ally protection and shield set and arena, man, we just, we just destroy them. Having that 5,000 buffer, it's insane. What else could I show you on my account? I don't know what else there is to show you. So we haven't done anything. I threw this on here. I'm not going to stay with this. I don't even really use Royal Guard that much, but I just threw it on there. But that's it for day two. We're going to do some more work. Appreciate you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I hope these tips helped you out. Let me know what you feel about these tips down below. Don't you think it's an awesome way to start a brand new free-to-play account? Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will see you all in a video soon.